are you doing? I am here with a weird video. Um, this video is about ear candling, so if you're watching this, hopefully you know what it is. You guys know that I'm kind of into more natural medicine. Um, I've tried oil pulling and I've been oil pulling, but I actually took a break the last like three or four months. Basically, I got my dog and she was a little tiny puppy and not talking for 20 minutes in the morning while I was swishing was not happening because she'd get into like everything and I'd have to yell at her like, get out of that! And so the quiet for 20 minutes just was like an impossibility. Um, she's, she's like more grown up now so um, I've actually started again and been doing it like the last month or so. So I wish I could give you like a more permanent update but since I took that like three month break I wasn't really able to um, but we'll kind of see after a while. Anyway, I have reasons for being um, a fan of more natural medicine. Not that I don't believe in modern medicine, not that I don't use modern medicine, but uh, my whole thing is I'm allergic to like everything. I'm allergic to almost every prescription I've ever gotten. I'm allergic to penicillin and anything with penicillin in it. Um, so I can take like no antibiotics. I'm allergic to Keflex or K-Flex, whatever that's called. Um, the one that's made out of bees, because I'm allergic to bees. I'm allergic to sulfa drugs. I'm allergic to something called Mobit. I'm allergic to like every pill. I break out in hives. So because of that, um, I have to kind of seek other things um, to help, I guess. Because um, I really only go to the doctor unless it's an emergency because they really can't give me anything when I do go. Um, so anyway, this is about ear candling and um, it's kind of like a haul, <laughs> I guess. Um, so anyway, I've been ear candling for a long time, probably about 15 years, I would say. Um, I actually started a long time ago when it like first became like a fad, like 15 years ago. Um, and honestly, there you could go to salons and people would charge you for it. Um, and Anyway, I was talking to my grandma about it one day, and my grandma's very crafty. You've heard me talk about her before. And she said, well, they're easy to make, because she knew all about it. Apparently, she's been ear candling for a long time, like in the 20s and stuff. Um, so anyway, she said that you can make them really easy. And so she got the, the muslin or the linen, and she got the paraffin wax, and we made a ton of ear candles. It was like a day that we spent making ear candles. Me, my sister, my grandma, and my mom. We made like a hundred ear candles, um, and we kind of split them up between the four of us, and we used them. Well, that lasted like forever, and um, I'm out, and I've been out for a while, and um, I've purchased one or two packs that like, you know, natural stores or whatever, but they're like $8 a pack and it is ridiculous. So I was seeking a cheaper way um, for ear candles because I didn't have the time to actually make a whole nother batch. So anyway, I went online to search for um, a way to get them for cheap and I absolutely found it. So um, the website is called www.earcandlesale.com um, and they have all kinds of different varieties and they were super cheap. So the they're based out of Missouri, Galayton, Missouri, um, which is great. That's just like one state over from where I'm at. And so they arrived really, really quick. And I actually found ear candles for 69 cents a piece. Um, these were like the wholesale or the stock ones. They're not like the most expensive ones with the most expensive wax, but I really don't care. Um, an ear candle is an ear candle in my opinion. Um, but anyway, so if you go to like a natural food store, you pay like $7.50 to $8 for two candles. For like one one candle for each ear. Um, and I got tired of that. So anyway, they were $0.69 cents a piece for a basic 9 inch paraffin ear candle. Um, they came in just a flat priority mailbox. They charge $7.99 shipping. I ordered 60 candles because my sister is going to take half of them because um, we're both out. So anyway, um, I got 60 candles and it was $41.40 plus tax and shipping of course. And these are just the basic 9 inch paraffin ear candles. And it asked like which um, oil to put on them and there was like some oil you could pick. I think I picked lavender and it smells, mm, 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 mm. they smell awesome. Um, anyway, it talks in here about them. It, says for de detailed ear candling instructions you can go to www.earcandlelady.com um, it talks about they're made of 100% food grade paraffin, 100% unbleached cotton muslin um, so they're they're good um, and so I got a ton of them 
Um, and inside of the box, they just came in this little bag, like so. Um, so I'm super excited because my ear has been hurting me. I actually got an ear infection a couple years ago, and since that, it's just given me major problems. That was the first ear infection I really ever got. So I really do believe in ear candling. A lot of people say that it doesn't work. Some people say it can damage your ears. That's everybody's opinion. Um, this is just me and what I think. So if you think I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Don't tell me I'm a horrible person and that I'm disgusting and I make you sick. Um, this is just a video I'm making about something I do. Um, so anyway, um, another thing you should do is, uh, if you don't know what ear candling is, let me just explain that briefly. Um, and you can look it up online. This EarCandleLady.com website is a good one. Um, it kind of tells you how to do it. And um, I really believe in doing this rather than like, I don't know, I, I've seen benefits because I work with children and a lot of young children get tubes in their ears and I suggest that you try ear candling before you get tubes in your child's ears. I'm not a doctor, you know, don't don't sue me if this doesn't work, but that's just my opinion because um, it does work wonders. So anyway, um, to ear candle, you have a candle that looks like this and it's cloth inside of there, it's muslin and it's coated in paraffin wax and if you look through there, it's hollow, it's a hollow tube and basically you lay like if it's your kid or something you put their head on your lap and they lay sideways and you put the candle in their ear facing upwards and you light the top of it um, it's better if you have like a paper plate around it so that in case ash falls it doesn't fall on them I've never had that problem but you know it could happen so basically you can get a foam plate paper plate cut a little hole in it put it through there and then you know put it in their ear so that no wax falls on them or whatever um basically it doesn't hurt at all that's another thing that i think makes it good for kids um it doesn't hurt at all and it's actually kind of relaxing um and you just let the candle burn down and while it's burning you hear like this crackling noise and this suction noise um it loosens up the wax in your ear but it feels like it's sucking it out and you can feel like hotness in your ear, I guess, from the smoke, and um, it creates kind of like this suctiony, warm, vacuum type thing in your ear canal, and it loosens up the earwax. Um, so basically, you let the candle burn down, and you can cut the candle open. It has all this nasty yellow stuff inside. A lot of people think that that is the earwax that it sucked out, but that's actually a myth. Um, that's actually not the earwax that it sucks out. It doesn't actually suck the earwax out. It just softens it, and yeah. So if you have like impacted wax in your ear, I know that's gross, but that's, you know, how you can get an ear infection or problems with your ears. Um, it helps. So anyway, my, my family does it. We always have. And so, yeah. Um, another thing you're supposed to do is after you ear candle, you're supposed to get ear oil. Um, and you just soak a cotton ball in the ear oil and you just put the cotton balls in your ear like you would if you had an earache. You do not drop the ear oil into your ear you just you know soak a cotton ball and kind of put the cotton ball in there and you go to sleep and then the next morning you wake up um, so anyway I was also out of ear oil and I got this one this is Wally's ear company this is like the most commonly used oil that you're gonna see on ear candling websites um, I also talked to the guy at the natural food store and he said you could just use plain organic olive oil as well um, so anyway um, I got this ear oil off of Amazon. It was $8.73 plus, you know, shipping. Actually, the shipping was free, but it was plus tax. Um, so it looks like this, Wally's Ear Company All Natural Ear Oil. It soothes sensitivity, good ear health, minor ailments, and it is child safe. Um, it's got the ingredients here. Um, sweet almond oil, eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, mulian extract, echinacea oil, and garlic oil. And it says the active ingredients in this oil may be beneficial to minor ailment sensitivity and good ear health. It says this velvety smooth specialty ear oil is prepared by hand with whole herb infusions and arom sorry, aromatherapeutic essential oils. Wally's ear oil uses a combination of six powerful all natural herbs to soothe sensitive or irritated ears. Swimmers love us. Um, if you go on Amazon and just read the reviews on this, you're going to hear like a ton of people saying this cured their swimmer's ear. So it's a good thing to have around the house if your kids swim a lot in the summer. Um, I know I swam like every day when I was little. Um, so yeah. So it just looks like this. And again, you don't drop it into your ear. You just soak a cotton ball and put the cotton ball um, after you ear candle. So that's kind of my routine when I do ear candle. I will ear candle. Um, I'll take a shower first. And then I ear candle. And then I do the little cotton balls. And then I go to sleep. And um, I can tell you guys that um, for me personally, it has 
ever since I got that terrible, terrible ear infection, um, cause I hadn't ear candled for actually a couple of years when I got that ear infection. Um, and it was, it was the worst ear infection. Uh, it was, uh, it was so bad. Um, I had to leave work. It was so bad. I was just in tears. Anyway, um, since then, since I've been ear candling more consistently, I kind of learned from my mistake. I kind of learned like, oh, oh crap, I shouldn't have taken a break from it. Um, and, and since then I've actually stayed on it and I don't ear candle all the time, probably, um, maybe four times a year. I tend to ear candle more in the winter because with all the fluey, seasony, pressury stuff in my head, my ears start to hurt really bad. And um, basically if my ears start to hurt like I'm getting an ear infection, I will ear candle and then I'm like, I feel so much better. Um, so yeah, just check it out, just kind of some information. And if you think it's something you might want to try, um, you might just want to go to like your natural food store and just try one pack and see if it makes a difference. Um, it also helps you hear better, so at least in my experience. Um, I, I remember the first time I ever ear candled, I was like 16 and I had never done it before. And that's when we first made the ear candles or whatever. And um, the first time I ear candled, I was 16. And I just remember like hearing so much better after the first time I ear candled. Um, after that, you know, it didn't improve much, but after the first time having never done it before, it made a drastic difference in my opinion. Um, so that's just my personal experience. If you want to know more about it, leave a comment and I'll be happy to let you know more or make more videos. But if you think you might want to try it, um, it is safe as long as you do it properly and that website, eercandlelady.com can kind of give you more specific instructions how to do it safe. But if it's something you think you want to try, um, you might just go to the natural food store and try one one pack and then if you like it you might try out this website because they're cheaper than like anywhere else on the net that I found like period and I researched for a long time so again the website is eercandlesale.com um, it's awesome 69 cents a piece I've got 60 candles this is gonna last me um, I'm gonna give half to my sister but this is gonna last me like five years and I don't have to worry about buying them again and um, the ear oil Amazon super cheap so you don't have to buy 60 of them you can just buy like 10 of them and then the ear oil and spend like 20 bucks and give it a try um, so just kind of my just some info if you have a kiddo suffering with like earaches. I know when I taught elementary school, I mentioned it to one parent and the child was about to get tubes in their ears and they missed a lot of school um, because of it and um, they didn't have to get tubes in their ears. So I don't know. Just my opinion. You may think it's, you know, totally bogus. But again, I'm not a doctor. This is just my experience. Don't tell me I'm a horrible person like everybody did on my oil pooling video. If you go back and read those comments, you know why I want to quit YouTube sometimes because it is horrible the things people say. Um, so anyway, I will see you next time, guys. Bye.